All right, so thought I'd do a quick video today of how I go about removing these uh, the bed knife from the sole plate. So this is a pretty common issue a lot of people have. Um, what happens is the screws underneath, uh, it's just simply where they are located at the bottom of the mower, they pick up a lot of dirt and everything. Uh, and I believe quite often they get jammed into the sole plate and it's very, very difficult to remove the screws. So today's video, I'm just gonna show you how I go about uh, removing the bed knife from the sole plate. Uh, and the reason I wanna do this is because when I go to get all my parts uh, sandblasted and primed and painted and whatever you choose to do, I want to paint underneath my bed knife. So in order to do that, I need to remove the bed knife from the sole plate so I can effectively paint underneath the bed knife. So here's how I go about it. Um, I've already started and then I've decided to make a video. So I firstly clean out as much uh, dirt and grime from each screw as possible. Um, I simply do that with a, a wire brush just attached to my drill. Uh, once I've done that, I will spray lubricant. Uh, so, so WD-40 or RP-7 or whatever you choose to use, it's all the same in my opinion. Uh, once I've done that, I'll let that soak for a while. Uh, once I've soaked it, I'll flip it over and I'll try I'll try a few different methods um, initially and if none of them fail or if I still can't get the screw out then I'll resort to uh, heating up the screw and removing it with heat. I've never had a problem uh, with heating it up. Once you heat it up it's, it generally just releases quite easily. So watch along. Hopefully this helps some of you guys uh, when you're trying to do the same thing. So this is probably number seven or eight that I've now removed from some so I've done it a few times. Um, what do you Okay, so I've had that uh, soaking with a bit of oil on all the screws. Uh, so that's been soaking for oh, just over an hour. So I'm now gonna attempt to removing some screws. Um, now I'm gonna do a few different methods. Uh, firstly, might seem stupid, uh, find the biggest screwdriver you possibly can and uh, just try and undo it with a screwdriver. Uh, now. <laughs> It may happen, you might get lucky, I highly doubt it. I've never been able to undo one solely with a, with a screwdriver alone. So, I'll give it a shot anyway. If that fails, second attempt, I'm gonna use a, an impact screwdriver. So this is a screwdriver that you put a, uh, a tech bit in the end, uh, and then you hit the, hit the top of the screwdriver, and the force of that pushes the screwdriver down and actually internally the mechanism uh, rotates left to right. So we want to undo that so we'll have that in the correct orientation to undo the screw. Uh, the last thing you want to do is tighten your screws. So just make sure you've got it going the right way. Last time I used one of these, I actually snapped the uh, flat bay piece that was in the end of it. Um, I'm not sure if you can see. Uh, so I don't actually have another one of those. What came in my kit is a, uh, a long version of that, um, which I think is probably just gonna be useless. Uh, however, I'm gonna give that a go. Hopefully we can get some screws out with the impact screwdriver. I know a lot of people do have success with these. Um, I have not always had success with them. So we'll give it a go anyway. If that fails, uh, a nail punch. 
So a nail punch and a hammer. Now that might sound silly, but if you get a nail punch and you put it on the edge of your screw head uh, and then knock that in a counterclockwise direction, you may get enough leverage on your screw to uh, start removing it. Once you sort of generally crack and release the pressure on it, uh, you could probably go back to a screwdriver and just simply unscrew the screw. Um, so we'll give that method a shot as well. And if all else fails, we'll get the uh, map, map gas out. So we'll get the gas bottle out, we'll heat up the screw, um, and then Basically, once you heat the screw up, I've always had success with just a normal screw screwdriver, it, it, uh, like a big one, um, but you should just be able to simply unscrew the, the screw. So, here we go. Let's see how we go. Okay, so as suspected, big screwdriver, is not working successfully. So we'll just move on to our uh, impact screwdriver. So uh, normally I'll try and sort of put some blocks or something underneath this. Um, so when you're hitting this, you sort of want to be hitting downwards. You don't want to be hitting sideways. Um, so if you have a downwards force, it's, 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 it's more direct and more amplified opposed to sideways. So uh, I'll put that up on some blocks and we'll give it a, a few hits and we'll see, see how we get on. Okay, so no success there. Uh, again, look what's happened. We've snapped half of our uh, flat blade piece. So I'm not sure if it's just a really crap quality uh, piece or impact, uh, impact screwdriver, I'm not sure. Uh, however, I've never had success with this um, to the point that these days I don't even bother with this anymore. Um, so next method, we will use a hole punch. So a hole punch on the side of the screw and I'm going to tap that around with my hammer. Uh, now, hopefully, hopefully this method works. Uh, I have had success in the past of doing this, so hopefully we'll get some movement. Once we get some movement, we should be able to get a screw out with a screwdriver. So, here we go. Okay guys, so no successes again, uh, the hole punch. Uh, actually all the hole punch is doing is uh, creating a mess of the screw head. So I don't necessarily want to break that off. Um, I think if I break the screw head off, it's going to be incredibly more difficult to remove the uh, screws. So I'm going to leave that at that and I'm going to start heating up my screws uh, to remove them. So. I'll show you how to get one out, I suppose. It's quite a long time. You'll, you'll find that you have to heat this up quite a, a considerable amount. So there's a lot of metal here, uh, and basically all that metal needs to be heated. So you will be heating this for a good while before it's hot enough to be able to get some movement on your screw head. So uh, here we go, we'll, we'll, we'll give that a shot.
Okay guys, uh, as you can see, uh, I've managed to remove one of the screws from the, the sole plate. Um, so as you saw on the camera there, I've heated that up considerably. Once I've managed to get that heated up considerably, I have then used the method with the nail punch. So I've tapped around the side. Once I've started to get movement on the, the screw, uh, I've just reverted back to a, a normal screwdriver. So uh, that's how you go about using heat to remove the screws from your sole plate. Um, now that I've got one out, I'm pretty confident I'll be able to get uh, the remaining five out. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do that off camera and we'll skip to the end once I've completely removed the bed knife from the sole plate, so. Okay, so I continued off camera to remove the remaining screws that were holding the bed knife onto the sole plate. Uh, I did the exact same method to each screw, so I heated it up, used the nail punch, uh, and then just removed it with the screwdriver. So here's the sole plate, excellent condition, uh, no damage whatsoever, um, perfect screw holes, and with a bit of cleaning up, that will be in excellent uh, condition, ready for use. So uh, one thing I would like to mention, um, this is cast iron. So cast iron does crack and break uh, considerably more easy than uh, a steel product so when you heat this up uh, I personally every single time I heat this up I just let it cool down naturally uh, I don't go and dunk it in a, a bucket of water and rapidly cool it uh, I think if you're going to do that you may increase the chances of cracking this uh, somewhere so I don't don't cool it down rapidly I'll just leave it Connect it in my vise and just let it cool down naturally by itself. So I just would like to point that out. Uh, however, I've done this to six or seven of them now and not one of them has been an issue. So that's how I go about removing the bed knife from the sole plate. Thanks for watching guys. Hopefully I'll see you in the next one and hopefully this video has helped you along. So please subscribe, flick us a thumbs up. Uh, and I'll see you in the next video.